Okay, how to motion track in DaVinci Resolve and fix common problems you might get. Okay, a simple example. I'm going to track myself walking in a room. First thing, open Fusion tab, hit Shift Space, type in Planar, select Planar Tracker and edit in the middle of these two nodes. Then I'm going to bring the timeline in the middle of the clip. Okay, let me go back and just trim the beginning because I'm not in the frame. Okay, let's start from here. Good, trim the, trim the ending and that's fine. So let's pick up in the middle of the clip like this and in the planner tracker, click on set. Try to pick a frame that is sharp and has less movement. Now your first instinct might be to track the face, but you shouldn't. Instead, track a visible clear shape that has good contrast. In this case, I'm going to track this V shape in my shirt. So I click four times on the window to create this rectangle polygon. And if you don't do this first, you're gonna get the error track failed invalid pattern polygon. So make sure that your polygon is connected. Now to make it simple, let's select translation for the motion type. And to start tracking the movement, select track to start. And here's a typical problem. DaVinci doesn't do anything. You can press any of the buttons, but nothing happens. Where's the problem? Check your node window if your planner tracker is actually connected on the line and not only hovering above it. You can cut the line by clicking here and then reconnect it like this. Now the tracking should work correctly when you hit track to start. But if it doesn't, Here's another common error. Track failed. New tracks must begin at the reference frame. So let's see what you see in the reference time. If it doesn't match the frame number you have on your timeline, you get this error. So you can either set this frame as the reference point or click go to go to the reference frame. And now hit the button again. If you see green lines moving, everything's working. And once it hits the first frame, let's do the rest. Click go to go to the reference frame again and click track to end. But what if it loses the tracking in the middle? One thing you can try to do is clear data from the trimming. Select a new clear starting point, starting frame for your video. Draw a new polygon. Always select this tool to draw it. Set the frame, trace back and then track to end. And now if we play the whole clip, we see that it works. Okay, now we can do two things. First, we can change the operation mode to stabilize for the camera to follow the tracking polygon. Then we can go back to the edit tab and create some keyframes for the zoom and position to avoid showing the black parts outside the frame. So if we start from the beginning, we can bring the video to the middle add some zoom and set the keyframes from here then move the plate head forward go to the maximum point it's pretty good you can just zoom a little bit of adjusting like this the other side maximum point is this so we move the position we also need the zoom also on y-axis like this let's see how it looks you can see this side a little bit there so let's fix that Okay, looks great. Once you have all the keyframes in place, you can make it look smoother by opening the keyframes. Select the video and make sure you have this one selected, not the list, to see the curves. Select everything with Ctrl A and then pick here, easing in and out. And that should make it look smoother. Let's see how it looks now. Excellent. Okay, the second thing we can do is to make an object follow the tracking motion. To do that, let's go back to the Fusion tab and select Track again from the menu. Now, let's create a planar transform node by clicking here. To connect this to the signal, we put it here and add a merge node. Shift space, type in merge and select this one. Let's connect it. Connect planar transform node. And then we can add, for example, a text node, text plus. Let's connect that here. And I'll write my name, for example. 
then I can adjust the size. Let's go back in the timeline. And I'll move the location from here, layout. Put it on top of my head. So I look like a game avatar. Okay, let's see if it works. And here you can also use the keyframes where the text is on the frame. Okay, good enough for a demo. But what if we want to have both of the effects at the same time? Because now if I go back to the timeline, I have these adjustments for the zoom and position, but it's no longer stabilizing for the camera to follow my movements. To do that, we can go back to the Fusion tab, copy the planner tracker, paste it, and plug that in after the merge. Now we should see both. I forget to do one thing. You also need to change the operation mode to stabilize. Let's try again. There we go. This way we can have both effects in the final video. And if this was helpful, you can also consider pressing the subscribe button so I'll know to make more videos like this. And to keep learning DaVinci Resolve, here are some more videos about the topic.